Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are excited um, and if you're here I'm sure you're probably a plant lover as well so it's lovely to have you. I am so so pumped to be kicking off this video today because as you know I love my plants, I'm a big plant lover, I do have a lot um, and I started up my plant Instagram maybe like a year ago. I actually don't know how long ago that was. Maybe not a year ago. I love sharing the tips that I've learned along the way and sharing all of my beautiful plants with you guys. Basically, I have been wanting to film plant videos for so long and I don't even know why I keep putting it off. I watch a lot of plant YouTubers and watch a lot of videos on YouTube in regards to plants so I thought today it would be fun to bring you along to do my plant chores. I definitely want to do more plant related videos so if you would like to see more please let me know and if you've got any suggestions also let me know. Um, a lot of my basic information is on my plant Instagram so if you're interested in propagating or plant care that kind of thing I have a whole bunch of tips over there as well. But I'm just so excited I really felt like being with my plants today and giving them some extra attention. I was gonna put off filming this because it is the most miserable overcast day. The clouds are so heavy um, and the lighting is not gonna be very good in some places so I am sorry about that. Please bear with me. I just didn't want to put off this video any longer. I have made a list on my phone of things I want to get done today with my plants. There's just a few random things that I thought I would take you guys along for. So today I need to fertilize my queen of hearts. I want to repot a neon pothos that's in my bathroom. I want to also check all the plants and see which ones need a bit more water. Spray the plants, move some to different positions just to change up their lighting situation. I have a variegated peperomia outside that has been very stagnant for a long time so I want to sort out that situation. I want to cut back some of the stunted growth on some of my plants and I need to treat a fiddle leaf that I have outside that got a bit of like a rainwater disease so I'm just treating the leaves at the moment. And anything else I see along the way I'll also add that to the list. But yes I'm so excited. Please excuse my house as well. There's like bits and pieces that haven't been like tidied up yet this week. So just, just focus on the plants if you will. Anyway, let's jump in to this plant chores video. I'm gonna start with the plants here in my office. I really love having a plant shelf in here because it does get quite a lot of like uninterrupted light, which is great. This is my beautiful pothos that I have vining over the wall. So that is the current growth. It is now growing down. And I also have this strand here. Um, but it is losing a little bit of soil. So I think I need to put some more soil in that. These guys are doing great. My chain of hearts. My pothos kind of just doing its own thing here. Look at all of those gnats that it's trapped. My goodness. If you've got those little black bugs flying around your plants, um, and sometimes they're in the soil as well, they are gnats. And one of the best things I've found to tackle them just in general in my room is at Bunnings, they have these little, I think the brand's called The Buzz, something like that, Buzz. And they're like little sticky yellow tabs that you pop in the pot. And just like that, the flies are attracted to them and they stick to them. It is great, so I would definitely recommend that. So yeah, it's caught quite a lot. Um, but yeah, please excuse this Swiss cheese. I burnt some of its leaves off. So um, these are the original leaves still, but it was getting some stagnant growth. So last weekend I chopped it off. I'm just waiting for it to grow back. Look at this guy just showing off. This is kind of like my neon station. They're both neon plants. This is my beautiful neon pothos. The leaves are so luscious. I love it. And then I've got my Sigonium albo. Oh my goodness, these leaves are so beautiful. It had a dead leaf that I had to take off there. But then as you can see, it's got some new growth here and here. So I'm waiting for that to rise up. And then, guys, <laughs> we've been through a bit of a situation with my Triangulus Oxalis. It is looking so much better. If you know, you know the whole ordeal with this. This is my newest one. My older one is in the bathroom. But yeah, I am trying to get the leaves to look a little bit more full. So you've got like a little new shoot there but it's looking really full on this side which is so good i'm trying to just like move it every couple of days so i've just moved it this morning so it can hopefully grow a little bit further on this side and then my little cute chinese money plant how cute it's only tiny this is going to fall off unfortunately but um i got this last weekend and i just repotted it so yeah hopefully it can grow some new shoots i'm actually gonna pop my humidifier on so that they can get 
a little bit more love so yeah i have my humidifier around my plants just to help create a humid atmosphere for them i think they seem to like it a lot of plants like the humidity so I've just turn that one on this guy is pretty chill um i might just need to water this guy but yeah not too much in this department this is also one of my oldest pothos plants so um i think he's doing pretty well too might just need a proper water actually and so this is my older triangulus oxalis so as you can see the leaves are slightly different this is one of my favorite plants by far um, but yeah, after it went dormant over summer and it's come back, it was a little bit unstable. So yeah, I changed its position. I think it likes the humidity in here from the bathroom and I'm just trying to get its leaves nice and strong again. I might just actually turn this a little bit to make sure it grows. And this is my neon poppers that needs to be repotted. I will show you why the roots are coming out the bottom of the pot so yeah I'm gonna pop that into a bigger one I'm just gonna pop that at the top of the stairs here I need to move this too that needs to go downstairs I've got some beautiful propagations in here I've just changed over their water um so I've got so this one we've got a marble queen stunning coming along nicely. I'm not gonna move this one because the leaves are massive. That's a cutting from my grandma's plant and I'm so excited for the roots to grow. I've got some neon pothos and then I've got two rubber plants just there. I actually need to change the water in these propagations. See, it's gone a little bit cloudy. So I'm just gonna tip the water out. And just like change the water over. I normally only do this once or twice, like while they're growing. And then these also need the water change. Ah! My last a soldier. Uh oh. Oh no, another one. There's so many in here. Why did I put this many in here? It's like they don't all fit. I'm just gonna pop this one in a different one. Another neon pothos propagation. I'm really excited for these to grow. I also have another little marble queen. How beautiful are these? I'm so excited to see these like actually grow. Ooh, tricky business. There we go. Now these are some other propagations um, that I've had going. This one does not look great. I don't really know what to do with it because like the leaves have all gone limp. This one is definitely gone. Unfortunately, one that didn't work. How beautiful are these? These are the pothos propagations I got from my grandma. Her plant is massive. I have a picture of it on the happy little fig. It is insane. So that one's all good. I'm also just gonna fill these guys up a little bit just to use a little pourer. There we go. I'm gonna keep this one in the bottle. I just don't know what it's doing. So I'll give it some time. So we're now in my mum's bathroom. This is the best place to grow plants and I think I'm gonna bring more in here because there are so many like glass windows. <laughs> I'm just gonna water some. This I put in here maybe two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago um, because it only had a few leaves and it wasn't growing very well. This is the growth in a couple of weeks. Like, are you kidding me? Insane. So <laughs> I'm gonna let that go. And then this is her marble queen. Hang on, I'll bring you guys in. How good. And just to keep the leaves nice and clean, I'm gonna spray them. You just get like a spray bottle, put some water in it, and just help clean the leaves. They love the humidity. I'm definitely bringing some of my troubled plants in here because the light in here is insane. And it's an overcast day as well, mind you. Like, it could be brighter. Now, I'm gonna bring you guys in to show you this section i have this pothos back here which seems to be doing pretty well it's got another one of those gnat traps on it and i've noticed a few flying around so i'm hoping that gets sorted on its own but this strand here don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see but if you can see right there that's a bit of a dead leaf so i'm actually going to cut it back to here to promote some new growth see how she goes like that also here i have my beautiful satin pothos it is actually going pretty well i'm a bit surprised it's quite long and then i've got a swiss cheese propagation 
here but I'm actually gonna put my diffuser on in here for a little bit and just give the plants a little bit more humidity I really enjoy doing that it's like a little bit of self-care for me and the plants <laughs> and then this is my queen of hearts that hasn't been doing too well since I got it as you can see the leaves not looking great so I'm actually gonna take her outside and fertilize her and this is my beautiful monkey mask I've just moved it to this position so I'm still not sure if it likes it but as you can see back here we've got a bit of new growth which is great and it's like growing two apart I'm very excited for that I don't know what's the best way to position it I think probably like that how I had it another beautiful satin pothos um, I'm noticing a few gnats flying around in here so I'm going to put one of those traps in this is what they look like by the way and I just get mine from Bunnings but you just take one out take off sticky side and then I'm gonna put it around the back of the plant and I just dig it in to the soil and then I'm just gonna spin it around see how that grows now this has some dead growth on it it's quite a bushy plant so I find little leaves die off every now and then I just want to clean it up a little bit or looking luscious got some new growth here at the back as well which is good so big look at that this is one of those plants in particular that really loves the humidity so just make sure i spray it often give that one a spray too lovely that looks good my next mission is to get this fiddle leaf into the shower so I can give it a proper water. I only do this like every month or so just to wash the leaves. Okie dokie. Come on. Whoa. She's looking good. I'm actually going to do that for this one as well. I don't want to rip any of these out. And see what's happening. This is my beautiful neon pothos. She needs a good drink, I think, and to have her leaves watered. Lighting is not very good out here, but I've brought out my plants that I need to do something with. Um, I've got this little guy that potted probably like 18 months ago and it just isn't growing. So I'm going to put it in a little nursery pot so that I can use this nice pot. And this is my variegated peperomia that's a bit stunted. So the leaf just fell off. That's lovely. And then we're repotting this one as well. And this one just needs a good fertilize. I also have this nice pot that I got, but... I don't have anything to put in it yet, so I'm just gonna leave it to the side. Sorry for that abrupt ending. I was pretty much done anyway, but I think that was my camera telling me this video is long enough. I finished repotting those plants um, and putting them into different pots and whatnot. Um, so I did that and then I also treated the fiddle leaf outside. Um, and yeah, pretty much done all of my major plant care. All that needs to be done now is just watering um, some little plants here and there, but that's pretty much it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this first plant chores video. I love talking about plants as I'm sure you can tell and any of you that follow me on the happy little fig would know I just I get so excited talking about plants and plant care so yes if you do want to see more of these please let me know I'm really keen to do more of them when I have a decent amount of chores to do because some weeks especially in winter it's just kind of watering because they're a little bit more dormant um because it's cooler so I hope you guys have a good day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video very soon bye guys